Hello, everybody. Ben Hansen from MinMax here. MinMax is a Patreon about games, friends, and getting better. Stop me if you've heard that one before. Early morning stream here. We're going to jump in and check out Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. Uh, Sony sent us a code ahead of time, which is very kind to them. Thank you, Corporation. Uh, now let's check out Ratchet & Clank Rift Apart. Um, from the top, everybody. We're going to jump in right from the top. Uh, this is coming in in the middle of E3. Hello, Shazira. Thanks for being here. Um, MinMax's E3 coverage is in full swing. You can follow us and subscribe over on our YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash minmaxshow. You're probably watching this on our YouTube channel, so thanks for being there. Uh, you can subscribe. We're going to have reaction streams for all the big press conferences, bonus episodes of the MinMax Show podcast, um, and then also a uh, comedy miniseries from Leo Vader and Jeff Cork. So there's a lot of fun stuff. As always, everybody in the chat, let us know how the volume is. Hello, yep, I'm a person waving. Hello, everybody. Hello. Uh, Shazira says, a part of me didn't even blink when Alex S. was on because of the host, and I had to stop and be like, oh, yeah. How are you? I'm good. Uh, Shazira says, did you see the Xbox information? No, this is fun. What is it, Shazira? Inform us. Okay, difficulty. Um, let's see. Balance choice for more experienced players. Prefer for beginners. Blah, 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 blah. Oh boy, super baby mode. Well, we can't do that. Um, let's go middle one. Although I remember Ratchet and Clank 2016, it did strike me that it was harder than I thought it would be. Um, let's go for fidelity. Well, all right, let's go 60. What am I doing? All right, that seems totally fair. All right. Oh, 60. My God. Ah, Shazira is going to let us know about that Xbox information. Hello, Dr. Big. Hello, T. Brinkle. Thanks for being here, everybody. Let's jump in. New game, Ratchet and Clank, Rift Apart. Very exciting. Look at that. Seamless from the title screen. Very cool. Members of the Resistance, report to your nearest intake facility immediately. We promise nothing nefarious will befall you. Already looks good. Just that thing's face looks great. Resistance members, report to the VIP section of your nearest intake. Microsoft is putting Xboxes in TVs? What? I mean, yeah, I think we all saw the future coming, but that's cool if they announced it right now. I guess that's kind of like a techie thing to get into for the press conference. Microsoft aims to release at least one new first party game in every quarter for Game Pass. That's interesting. That's what people checking out Ratchet and Clank are looking for, is some good Xbox news. There is the assistant, and there is the info bot. Thanks for the sub, John Pra. Ooh, masterful work. Now get out of there and I'm sorry, let me um let me help you help me. Let me help you help everybody that, thing. that not safe Where there we the go info bot go 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 your ship is up ahead I love a good mission out of the gate. Just drop you right in. It's a very good Mission Impossible thing. Oh, this is going to be rivet, isn't it? Hell yeah. Jennifer Hale, our very own Commander Shepard. Gotta go. Here, it'll help you get home. I designed it to be one size fits all, so it should. Thank you. Hmm. And Shazira says Game Pass Cloud Streaming has come to Xbox Windows app and a new Microsoft device. Just a new tablet y type thing? That's interesting. Thanks again, John Pra.
Thanks for being here, Don't that one dude. Don't you think it's weird to throw a celebration for us? I mean, we haven't done anything heroic in <laughs> years. What if everyone thinks we're washed up? <gasps> oh, what if we are washed up? That's funny. Luckily, we will not need to perform any heroics. <laughs> <laughs> That's Unless funny. you count smiling and waving. <sighs> right. <laughs> So Rat says, Morning Ben, how's the game so far? Well, I haven't touched the controller yet, but very good. This is the Ratchet and Clank we know and love. All right. Okay. Let's uh, wow. do some crowd work. These guys in ages. They really don't want us to interact with the crowd. This is the future of Hollywood is having invisible hey, walls separating the plebes from the turnout. talent. Okay. Even after all of these years, it is exciting. Can't yeah, really do any moves with the huh? double jump now, but hey, that's fine. Can't jump off the platform, all right. Just trying to understand and come to grips with my own level of fame here. Coming in. Evan One Sonic asks, is this game worth $70? Based on running 15 feet? Absolutely. I'm sure it is. I think if you have a PlayStation 5, you're gonna wanna show it off, right? This seems like. Must he tell the a great option galaxy? if you weren't sold by Returnal. But I, this is my first time jumping in. I haven't played see. beyond this. It is awaiting us at the front of the parade route. Well, we better get moving then. I'm on uh, performance, so it's running at 60. That's fun. Holograms are fun. It is just unbelievable to me that this series is still going strong. It is so amazing that Sony's been funding these for 20 years. 20 years of using a wrench to beat on some boxes. It's incredible. Come on. I'm a bit of a pro. Why aren't you playing Final Fantasy VII uh, Remake Integrate on the PlayStation 5? Okay, look. I, uh, I haven't... Uh, upgraded to the PlayStation 5 version of it yet. But I am very happy to announce that we are doing the deepest dive on Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrades Intermission Yuffie Chapter. So it's going to be our huge game club discussion. Uh, if you support us over on Patreon, you can submit a comment for our game club and we'll read it during our discussion, which is going to be... Uh, we're looking for your comments on June 21st. So we're giving, we're giving you some time to get through it. Because apparently it is like 8 to 10 hours is what I read, which is longer than I thought for sure. Uh, but please join us for the deepest dive. It's going to be the best, most thorough discussion about the intermission Yuffie DLC on the internet. We already did it for the main game. You can check that out on our YouTube channel. And now it's time to do it for the DLC. It's going to be a very fun time. Tony says, fantastic work with the uh, Giles Goddard interview. Thank you. Yeah. The man who made the opening face for Super Mario 64. Um, yeah, you can check out that interview on our YouTube channel. It's really interesting him talking about working with Miyamoto in the 90s. I mean, there's not too many English speakers that were in Nintendo in the heyday in the early 90s. Uh, so it's a, it's a fascinating bit of insight. Not many people are doing interviews with Giles. So definitely check that out on our YouTube channel if you like uh, some good insider stuff, especially about the history of platformers. I think it's very relevant. Uh, the date for Final Fantasy VII Intergrade, intermission chapter is June 21st for the deepest dive. Ah, but you can check out the deepest dive on Mass Effect, which we just wrapped up. All right, I'll stop talking. Oh, Lord! Ooh. All right. You got that dual sense going now, baby. This sounds about right. I'll take that. That's the health. Let's go ahead and shoot that up. God, collecting these things is so satisfying. I look a lot. Take that. And is that every crate? Okay, I'll see myself out. Now what's going on here, do you think? Cool. Hey, I think I found the that. What is this 
supposed to be a reenactment of? We got trouble. Ratchet, I do not believe this is part of the show. I'm trying to celebrate the history of Ratchet and Clank here, buddy. I don't have time for this crap. Okay, nothing I can do there. Smash ammo crates to refill ammo. All right. Don't mind if I do. Someone put a bounty on us? Can I do anything cool here? Good God. Uh, mm. I hope this is not about your gift. Hurry, we must get to the front of the parade route. I was born to do this, my son. Uh, yes, for the Integrate Intermission DLC for the Deepest Dive. It's two chapters long, but we're doing it all in one. Because we're kind of getting to it a little bit later, so... Uh, we're going to do it all in one. Oh, boy. They really want you to know you're pulling a trigger on that dual sense. L1 to Tether Shoot. Remind me later on, chat. Or the Kragmites, or... Dr. Nefarious. <laughs> no way! Nefarious has been retired longer than we have! So, how many years is this after... Into the Nexus, I believe, is the last one? Canonically? Good stuff. Good stuff. All your favorites are here. Crowd's going wild. Get out of here. Too loud, too quiet? Let me know what the volume is, everybody. Armor popping off. Fantastic. Just fantastic. Maybe I should have waited for there to actually be an enemy up there or something. God, it's just like pouring a... It's like a magnetized bu bucket of popcorn. That's what's going on here. I see more of those goons down there. We better get moving before anyone gets hurt. Out of here, goons. So, hang on, I'm trying to understand. So, it's like, do I have the ability? Okay. Just trying to figure out the trigger for the dual sense, which I know is tough to convey into stream, but there's resistance. I'm trying to figure out if it's like a returnal halfway trigger something different. Volume good. Volume good. Okay. Is there a sprint? No sprint, but who needs a sprint? Maybe we'll get that later. Yeah, this, uh... This looks gorgeous already, but, like, I feel like every ratchet, especially the first ratchet of every generation, is always just like, oh, va va boom I mean, I remember the PS3, like, Ratchet Clank Future, that was, like, the great way to show up your PS3 right in the beginning. Obviously, you got resistance, all that fun stuff. But for me, I think Ratchet and Clank was the big showstopper, the early PS3 days? What do you all remember for being, like, the big PS3 showcase? Uncharted, obviously. I'm trying to remember the timeline. I want to say... Oh, maybe it's just because I bought my PS3 a little bit later, so it might have been right when Future came out. Or, like, Future was, like, a packing game, I think, when I got my PS3, which was 2008? So I was definitely behind the times. Hey, buddy. Uncharted 2 was the big one. Resistance. Yeah. Ka! Ka! I love the ratchet balloons in the background there. A little rusty, but not too bad. Now it's your turn, buddy! What's the best Ratchet and Clank game to start with? If you have zero experience, I mean, you'd probably be fine jumping into this one. But otherwise, 2016s, I think, is a really uh, great option for you since that's kind of a remake of the film. It's confusing, but basically, if you want to get the start of the story, Ratchet and Clank 2016 is, is a great option. And if you have a PlayStation 5, you have it for free. Well, if you have PS Plus uh, in that game collection bundle. considering that our event seems to be under assault, I will cut to the chase. Ratchet. 
I do not know where I would be without you. You are my closest friend, my teammate, and you have given up a lot to me. I have repaired the Dimensioneer so you can travel through dimensions and find your family. No, uh, pal, I... What? Dr. Nefarious? He's back! What a wonderful surprise! I didn't expect to see you here. Considering my clones were meant to annihilate you eight minutes ago. Oh, what do you want, Nefarious? Yes! <laughs> Thanks, Team Pup and Sub, for the big subs! Oh, Team Pup and Suds. Team Pup and Subs? E3 weak! E3 hype trade! Can't anyone print instruction manuals anymore? Uh, Hitmonchan, yeah. 2016 was just the game based on the movie, which was kind of an origin story. So it's kind of a remake in that way, but it's not rebooting the canon or anything. Boink, boink. Man, I love your streams, but you're just taunting me with your ability to own a PlayStation 5. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's quite a gift. Koala. Fantastic. Good stuff. Ride the rails? Hell yeah. Sweet. Yes, and quickly. Whatever he has planned, it cannot be good. All right. I love this. I loved it in the Final Fantasy X cutscene. I loved it in Dirge of Cerberus. Any sort of grinding on a little rope is A-OK -okay with me. Kablooey. Get this sucker down. Wait, perhaps we can put more pyrotechnics to use. You brought Galactic had rail grinding as well. Oh, good. I like that game. I played a couple hours of it. I, I, I'm interested in going back and getting really into it, but I don't think that'll happen. Sadly, it's too much new stuff to play. I still haven't finished Village. You know. I should have known that fairies would try something like this. Don't beat yourself up. This will be just like old times. Come on, it looks like Nefarious landed somewhere near the train station. Go, Mrs. Zircon. We should grab a weapon. Need a weapon? Mrs. Zircon has it all. You got it, buddy. The one-stop shop to power up your arsenal. Okay. Well, we got... Look at this. I can actually buy things. The Shatter Bomb? Or the Enforcer? Okay, well, let's, uh, we gotta do a hot twitch poll. Um, mm-hmm. Okay, and... Shatter Bomb versus Enforcer. Which weapon? And one minute, start poll! Even the menu is gorgeous, they say. That's great. Let's take a single barrel destruction, it would blast through your enemies with a double... Barreled plasma cannon versus shatter bomb. Feel the power. Uh, I suppose a ball of energy that. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. Uh, while we wait for the Twitch poll to come in, I want to remind everybody about Trivia Tower, our video game trivia show on MinMax's YouTube channel. Um, it is a tower, believe it or not. There are five floors. You work your way up the floor. Last person standing wins a prize. And this month's episode is going to be on June 20th. Sunday at 1 p.m. Central, we're going to be joined by a very special guest, which I guess I won't announce quite yet, but you get in to Trivia Tower. <laughs> Lost my train of thought. You get in, you can compete in Trivia Tower uh, if you support us at any tier on Patreon, even the $2 tier, and the number one grand prize winner this time around. One person from the community, whoever knows the most about video games and wins that video game trivia, will win $1,000 because it's Trivia Tower. The grand round! The grand round! The grand round! So if you know a lot about video games, put it to the test and compete in Trivia Tower and you can help support independent games media at the same time. Enforcer seems to be the winner. All right. I wish it didn't have to be this way. The compare weapons, blah, 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 blah. Watch a preview. All right, you really want me to. Boom! That is the sound 
Uh, we did not get Vinny, uh, from... Why am I blanking on the name? Next Trion? What's... Next Lander? Uh, no, we didn't get Vinny, uh, but it's somebody that is our most requested co-host for Trivia Tower. And if you're curious how Trivia Tower works, you can check out the archive on YouTube for previous episodes to understand the format, but it's very simple, and it's a fun way to celebrate the community and have a good time uh, letting people compete in video game trivia. All right, well, we gotta get the Enforcer, then. You got it, Twitch! If Zircon was betting, you would pick that one. All right. We got it, baby, we got it. More goons. It is not Andy McNamara. Believe it or not. Some sort of Michael Huber asked Ray Luaza. That's an interesting guess. Winky, winky. Okay. Well, we got the we got the new one out, baby. If you like particles, might I interest you in Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart? Oh, those are our buddies. Okay, does it want me to? Okay, yeah, we're out of ammo for that one. And... Is it Jeffum as the special co-host for Trivia Tower? That would be fun. It would be fun to have a, a cohort as a co-host. A cohort's never been a co-host! You can't have a cohort being a co-host! Um, but it's also fun to, like, use Trivia Tower as a way to kind of branch out and interact with new people, and who doesn't like hosting video game trivia? It's a blast. All right. Give me the goods. Benjo, thanks for the big sub on Twitch. Appreciate it. So this Monday for Trivia Tower, even with E3? No, it's June 20th is when uh, Trivia Tower, the grand round, the grand round um, is happening. Uh, so that's Sunday, June 20th. Technically Father's Day, apparently, but it's kind of the granddaddy of all trivia, so I guess it makes sense. So thanks everybody for supporting us at Patreon at the $2 tier even. It helps us in a big bad way. You get access to the Discord, and then you can compete in Trivia Tower and win $1,000. We're gonna ship out a check. It's gonna be really fun. Hey, friends. And so it's five different formats of trivia. That's the way Trivia Tower works. Ooh, is my dad hosting? Put I cannot imagine anything more confusing than that. Put down the Dimensionator. Yeah, right. Today, you will see what losing feels like. Spoiler, it's exhausting. As soon as I figure out these stupid coordinates. Say goodbye. Paul Riker is the co-host for the next episode of Trivia Tower. You guessed it. My god. It's happening! The PlayStation 5 is happening! What just happened? We may have a slight problem. The bridge is shot! There has to be another way across. Hmm. The rifts are reacting to the face quartz in your glove. Try pointing it at one of them. The phase quartz. Did you see that? Cool. Uh, oh, let me try it again. That was rather exciting. Train has arrived. That's trippy. More trippy stuff in games, I like to say. Can I not get over there? Oh. I wonder okay. how much Nefarious is paying these guys. Not nearly enough. <laughs> Hey, buddy. I believe it's two new lead writers for this Ratchet game, if I remember my Insomniac history correctly. But you can barely tell. Jupiter Beach, thanks for the big sub on Twitch. Appreciate it, buddy. This one's for you, Jupiter. This box break right now. This one on the edge. Okay, ready, Jupiter? Well, I guess it's all of them. Thanks for the sub. Yeah. Whoa, watch your head. Save this them. Is worse than I had imagined. Is that something I should be worried about? Okay, so they're all warping in. It's interesting because I I'm tempted to do that little like 
tether move for all the rifts I see, but it's only a certain size of rift that I can do the tether with. This is like the first stuff we saw in the game, remember? Remember everybody? Apparently crunch free. You got right trigger on? What does that mean? RT? Am I missing something? Or at least a very large octopus. Hey, buddies. Ray tracing. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if that would even... Nefarious is shit. I don't know. We've That's a good question. A the uh, this is, is on performance mode. Right uh, let's see what we got. Because I'm playing on a kind of rinky-dink computer monitor here. And so... Um, let's see what we got in here. Okay, so performance with ray tracing. So, yes, technically. Are you all into these things? Film grain? Is that 10? That's interesting. Okay, change the difficulty whenever you want. That's nice. Look at waypoint. Ba -ba -ba -bam. Cool. It's at 10. They couldn't even see any film grain. Yeah, I haven't seen any film grain either. That's really weird. Come in. Okay, so the ones you can warp to have. Those are, okay. Orange. And purple means bad guys are coming in. Oh my god! Right through it. Hey! I feel like they should use the power of PlayStation 5 just to give me... Oh, now I can sprint. God, this game. It's got it all. Um, not the, not the biggest change of speed, but that's fine. Um, they should use the power of PlayStation 5 just to have one warehouse... That's just gigantic. Oh, that's funny. Um, and just fill it, fill a warehouse full of boxes and just let you go to town. Like, I want to see how many collectibles you can put on the screen at once before it breaks the PlayStation 5. Millions? Probably? They must have tested that at some point at Insomniac, right? Is Jeff Kelly the guest for Trivia Tower? That actually is a really fun idea. He's not, but I should absolutely write that down as something fun to do. Don't let me forget that. Uh, let me know in the Discord. Remind me. Reach out to Jeff Keighley to be a Trivia Tower co-host. Hype for E3? Hell yeah, Hype for E3. I was thinking about it yesterday. It's like, it's crazy that there's a flying taxi. It's crazy, like, the um, Battlefield 2042 reveal. I was like... This alone would be enough to, like, hang an entire episode of the Ben Mac Show podcast on. You know, we could talk about just that. And it's like, all right, we know about that. Now there's so much happening beyond that. And so it's just amazing how much we're going to have to unpack on the podcast. I'm interested in the Shatter Bomb. Man, and they give you plenty. Thank you. Okay, so here's some good controller stuff. Throw art and then throw. It's nice that this can all be one button now. That actually is a cool use of the PlayStation 5. I don't need to take up my L2 aiming, but I guess here it is anyway. See you, buddy. Let's go for old first pistol. This is... I don't know if you've noticed, it's been like basically an action scene since the beginning of the stream. Like, it's pretty wild. How much E3 content do you all plan on making? Uh, good question. Uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel, find out. Um, we are going to be doing reaction streams for the big press conferences. So, gosh, help me out. We're doing the Summer Game Fest uh, today, and then we're recording a live episode of the MinMax Show podcast right after that to kind of go through all those details, um, all those announcements, all that fun stuff. And then we're doing on Saturday, it's what, Ubisoft... Is that right? Or is that Sunday? I think that's Saturday. And then the Microsoft, e uh, Microsoft Bethesda press conference, the Nintendo Direct, obviously. We're doing the Wholesome uh, Gaming Direct um, and more directs on uh, Saturday as well. Some indie stuff on Saturday. Sarah Podorsky, MinMax's streaming compatriot, um, is going to be joining us for that. I hope you've all been enjoying her Twitch stream. She's been doing a great job. From what I've seen, she wrapped up Resident Evil Village recently, which was fun. Um, so we're doing all, all that fun stuff. And then let's just go ahead and say the grand round of Trivia Tower is kind of part of E3 coverage, but 
and then we're doing uh yeah the bonus uh funny recap videos from leo vader and jeff cork god okay this is what i want yes just give me this place to toy around with this that's really fun All seropod right. streams have now been fantastic yeah isn't she great isn't she good Yeah, thanks for following us over on Twitch.tv Twitch slash MinMax show uh, with the whole MinMax Plays initiative where we're streaming uh, twice every week with MinMax Plays where Sarah streams every Tuesday at 7.30 p.m. Central. Sarah Podorski. Oh, boy. And then, um, and then a cohort streams every Thursday. Normally at... 4 p.m. Central, but obviously this is an exception because there's a lot going on later today, so we thought we'd do it earlier. And we have a code for Ratchet and Clank, so hell. Hell, let's show what we got. Smoke them if you got them. Thanks, Plane Chain, for the big sub on Twitch. Appreciate it, buddy. Uh, this crate smash is for you, Shane! Yep, well, that was stupid. Please stop existing, Dr. Nefarious. All right, well, let's go to the shatter bomb. Is this gonna work here? Okay. What do you think, is that gonna work? Ah, it does. Nefarious. Uh, this is pretty early? Yes, this is uh, very early on. We've been streaming for just half an hour, so still opening set piece action bit. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Is this enforcer going to be short range? It feels short range, doesn't it? Is that doing really anything? Yeah, that's too shotgunny. That feels a little shotgunny for my like. Are you talking over Summer Games Fest? Yes, we are. Um, we're gonna have five of us for the Summer Games Fest reaction, which should be fun. So it'll be Leo Vader, uh, Dana Garcia, Sergio Vasquez, and Jeff Marquiafava and I all reacting. Oh boy, to the Summer Game Fest, which is pretty rare to have like that big of a crew. So I think it's gonna be a really fun time. That's gonna be on uh, Min Max's YouTube channel. So, oh boy. Oh, okay. It did actually. Is there a uh, health crate somewhere here? That was close. You think I'm crushing the feet? Is all it takes to stop me? I mean, yes. Well, think again. We're going to a dimension where I always win. It's a live reaction. So you yep. Can finally know how it feels. Here we go. Sweet. Sweet. The dimensions are weakening considerably. Oh boy, should have jumped. PS5. PS5. Alright, I don't have too much control here. This is basically just. Well, know. it is certainly not good. Can I control it at all? No, not really. Actually, I can't steer this at all. Fun. All right, now I can control, right? All right, you see the little jump there? There's a little... That explodes, right? Maybe not. There we go. Uh, Sleepy158 asks, can I ask what part Ronnie dropped Mass Effect 3? Um, we talked about that in the deepest dive. Uh, I don't want to spoil Mass Effect 3, but it's a big, um, it's a big tally moment is when Ronnie said, no more, no more of this. Alex Stadnik called you a legend. This Will you tell part. Alex Stadnik that I'm looking forward to getting beers with him soon? And you tell him that in a mean voice. Ratchet, the Dimensionator. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Always good. Always good when a planet explodes. Ratchet? Oh no! Oh dear, my arm, and he's like a little Winter Soldier. No. The Dimensionator. It. What have I done? Game Informer's raiding. Oh, hi, Game Informer folks. Who are you? Hi! Oh, John Carson's here! Hello! Pandas with bombs! Hello! Let's go for a ride. Yeah. Wait, Welcome, everybody. My friend. Pipe, 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 says Shazira. Uh, <laughs> Hi, everybody! How's life over at Game Informer? Let us know! All your blaze spacer belong to us. Hello! Thank you, Alex Dadnick, for shipping over the Game Informer crew. I still listen to the Game Informer Show podcast every week. I enjoy it thoroughly. I thought Alex Downing did a good job hosting this last week. That was fun. Hey, that was fun. Emperor Nefarious, you have returned early from your conquest. Yes, Emperor. <laughs> Hi. Uh, Popnap asks, when are we starting the live react stream for Summer Game Fest? Wow. All before the title. Here we go. Um, Summer Game Fest reaction streams happening at uh, 1 p.m. Central. Here at MinMax, we do things in Central time. Hello, John Carson. Yes, of course. John Carson's first episode of the podcast as well. I thought you did a very good job, John Carson. It's very tough listening to, like, E3 predictions because... It's so tempting just to be like, well, that's not realistic. What? Mother 3 isn't realistic, John, what? because of these following six reasons. And so it's like, but that's not good podcasting. Just to have everybody like, nope, Come nope, back. nope, for every prediction. So I thought those were fun place? to listen to. And it's fun that you guys are, like, betting and, like, keeping track on who's actually going to win. Because I'm always tempted Whoa. to do that. Then I'm always debating, like, oh, do I dock Where it? You, do you get docked for just guessing wildly? Uh, and it, it doesn't happen, but I think... You all are doing it the right way, which is you get plus one if your prediction comes true. Oh, thank you, this low rat, for telling Alex Tadnick that we're streaming the game. Appreciate it. Now we're in the Have cyberpunk dimension, so hope you all enjoy. Green eyes, red antenna, very charming. Why did no one tell me he was still here? Hello, Pants with Bombs. That I was still here? Whoo! Uh, is everybody sold in this game already? I feel like if you have a PS5, I think basically everybody's gonna be checking it out. Oh, I missed some stuff then. Oh. Sorry, I missed some stuff. Hey, friends! Still waffling. I mean, what else are you playing on your PS5? I'm curious. Returnal, if you're still playing that. Listening to the two Jeffs discuss a couple days ago sold me. Yeah, yeah, it's nice that, uh, I'm always happy when Gersman really likes a new game. And so it's nice listening to the Bombcast, uh, and hearing him talk about how much he's enjoyed this game so far. This Lowright says, I love MinMax and Game Informer. I miss having you on the show, Ben, but MinMax is an awesome place to be. Thank you! Yeah, I miss being on the Game Informer show, too. I was just thinking, like, this morning, I think. I'm like, oh, it'd be fun to be back on the Game Informer show. Um... Mainly, I think it would just be fun to say hello and welcome to the Game Informer show. I think I just miss saying that phrase. Hello and welcome to the Minmax show is fine. Basically, I like to host both shows. That's what I'm trying to say. Uh, yes, Hitmonchan. I believe this is seventy dollars. I know a lot of people hung up on that. Does that mean there are two nefariouses now? In Max podcast might roll off the tongue better. Maybe. I know I've accidentally said the Game Informer show at least once on the Min Max show podcast, but maybe that was a while ago. Hey. All right. I do like this world. I do. I do like this world. That'd be awesome, but I think the other Ben might be a little bit bummed. <laughs> yeah, if I just said, all right, move aside, Ben Reeves. I'm hosting both shows now. <laughs> no, I think Ben Reeves is doing a great job. I like uh, I like that he it occasionally brings back interviews uh, at the end of the show. That's, you know, 
take some hours out of the week to, to line those up every time. A little added stress. But uh, I'm glad that he's going for interviews that he's interested in. You know, he's had a lot of, like, old-timers uh, from the game industry on. But that's kind of his specialty. Because he's an old-timer. Oh, hi. Wait a second. He changed the song. Yeah, I see a lot of people complaining about the music on the Game Informer show. No comments. You know, I think I think it's nice to change things up with like different eras of a podcast. So I support him changing that music. The resistance. Emin Goldie says, "Try saying hello. Welcome to the Next Lander podcast." Smart. <laughs> Let's just rename our Patreon Next Lander. Next Lander Two. Next lander with two wins is John's coming. It's perfect. It's a test. Only royal starships are allowed to leave anything else. Phantom no. can help. Just follow the beat to Club Nefarious and you will find him. Club Nefarious. Got it. Oh, and nice work, Secret Agent Zircon. Oh, 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 oh. This is so exciting. This is all the area from the state of play. It's going to sound like What's Dr. Nefarious going to sound like? It's a funny question. You explore the planet, collectibles, and other points of interest will be revealed on your map. How did I and press X to pin it to the in-game HUD. Interesting. What is this telling us? Uh, Raritanium? Okay. It's objective there. Well, let's see if we can... Um, optional objective. Let's see what that is. I'm curious. And then... Oh, there it is. Okay. So we just have to work our way up yonder. Bum, 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 bum. Maybe we can get to it over here. Find some of that uh, unobtainium, whatever the hell that was called. This isn't an elevator, is it? Oh. Doctor Nefarious. So what happened to the real emperor? Hmm. Here we go. Can I get up here yet? Oh, good to go. All right, got that rare titanium. Now I can find this optional objective. I guess I haven't really looked around yet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <gasps> look how much crap that is. It's like the first episode of Loki. I'll take all these, I'll take all these, I'll take all these. I'll do all this, I'll do all this, I'll do all this. Gotta keep That's fun. The sooner I find Club Nefarious and this Phantom, the sooner I can get to Clank. I know, but there is an objective up here, buddy. Am I blind? Were they just telling me to go up and then the objective is actually going to be over here? Oops. Is that what's going on here? Let's see. Where is that objective now? Am I blind? Hi, friends. No! I don't think this is the side objective, is it? Up, 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 up. See ya. Now, what is going on with these objectives? I mean, that's the primary. This is optional. It's marked. Please do not approach until our greeting spot so it's just telling you the general area? Is that what's going on? Eradicated? I better head to the loading platform fast. Yeah, I know you want to, Ratchet, but 
Let's keep exploring a little bit. Alright, let's get down there. Let's let's show off some new stuff. Maybe we can try and find some of that rare tanium on the way. Oh, that's right! My god. I don't have a clank on me. Can I climb? There's always a way up. Alright, well I can't not get the rest of this rare tanium. This is too good. Hello? Can I grind? Uh -huh, maybe not. Let's see what we got here. Uh, Tanner Bomb says, we have another Mass Effect 1 objective situation here, Ben. <laughs> yeah, that could be. Uh, I wasn't realizing that I was setting my own random objective marker. No, nah, it's not fully another Mass Effect 1 objective situation. I'm sure it's uh, easily understandable, but not for me in my current state. State of hype for E3, that is. All right, now we're heading over here. So Ben, how does this whole thing operate? Asked Pandas with Bombs. Well, this whole thing operates by people supporting us at patreon.com slash minmax with two wins. Thanks, Panda. Uh, and if you support us at any tier on Patreon, you can compete in video game trivia on June 20th and win $1,000. And the good news, this isn't like some crazy HQ thing where there's a million people playing. There's not that many people playing. Your odds of winning that are very good, especially if you know a lot about video games. Um, and these are ungoogleable questions for Trivia Tower. That's the catch. Uh, but it should be a very fun time. So support us at that $2 tier on Patreon. It's a nice way to support independent games media. And win $1,000 for knowing a lot about video games. It's going to be a very intense round. Trivia Tower is normally like a very sweaty endeavor. Uh, but this sounds like it's going to be the ultimate sweat-inducing round. It's going to be a lot of fun. I mean, From nefarious. From nefarious. they were probably nefarious. coming up with the art here when they started to see images of cyberpunk, like peak hype cyberpunk, so I wonder if that was a little bit of an influence. I wonder if they went for a sci-fi setting because of cyberpunk. Half tongue in cheek. Get out of here. Hey, friends. Morning, Chris Logan. Ooh, look at this. Different camera perspective. All right. Now we're in Cyberpunk, baby. Phantom, where are you? Did you know that Cyberpunk 2077 invented the sci-fi game? That's true. I did know that. First sci-fi game. Come on. Are you the Phantom? I am whatever you want me to be, Are you the mayor? Phantom around here? Nope. Only a dancing machine. Watch out now. Have they ever done like a walk and talk in Ratchet and Clank before? I'm curious. Alright, they're blocking me. Isn't that what they say in Final Fantasy VII Remake? Like Mr. Mayor? You wouldn't in be Shinra the Phantom Tower? by any chance, would ya? Oh, I'm afraid that yet Uh-oh. Is it gonna be up here? Phantom? How's that controller feeling? Good. It's actually rumbling a lot right now because of the music. Like, I guess not enough to shake on the desk. But uh, yeah, I like the grenade throwing being like the half press, whole press. Resistance alert! Resistance alert! <laughs> Wait a second, says Aaron J. Bar Bear. This isn't House Hunter Rise. House Hunter Rise will return for New Show Plus. Every week we let Patreon supporters vote for what new show we create with New Show Plus. House Hunter Rise will have its return. Phantom? Is Skid? Wow, well, this dimension straight up wacky. I know we've talked about it on the Mid Max Show podcast before, but it is so weird. Better take care of these guys Over the last couple years, too. like the insane popularity of multiverse storytelling. Be Phantom, right? And especially the connection the with like Crash 4, that also Phantom. being the big theme. And Ratchet's history. Uh, you know, from a different studio, but still it has some connections to, to Crash there. It's kind of a, a funky 
funky, weird PlayStation platformer deal that they both, within a similar span of time, got into multiple dimensions. I'm Ratchet. I heard you were- No names! You gotta be smarter than that if you want to join the Resistance, new guy. Why does everyone think I'm with the Resistance? Good guys. Those are good guys, Ratchet. Who's controlling you, buddy? Ben, in your expert animal opinion, how would you describe a Lombax to an 80-year-old? Um, good question. Let Phantom it's get just, too far ahead. it's a, it's a fox that walks on two legs. Is that the easiest read? Like one of those cute foxes with really big ears. What's cuter than a fox, by the way? I'm now accepting answers in the chat. Uh, name one thing cuter than a fox. What do you mean it's out of ammo? That's not how this works. And ratchet shotgun. Baby platypuses. Yep, that seems to make sense. Foxes make the craziest sounds. Wasn't Dan Riker just talking about that on the Fire Escape podcast? I believe. Um, okay. And I will do a little wall jump. Hi, friends. Give me those goods. Hey, where are you? Like Protoss Colossi out there. Kittens are cuter. Help, help. I suppose kittens are cuter. Wait, I'm holding it down? I wanted to keep beating all that thing. Chris Logan with the sub and gift sub. Ah, oh, damn. I feel like half the things I talk about in that podcast can't be said on Mid Max. You know, Firescape Cast is kind of, it's an X-rated podcast. That's not true, but yeah, different tone. Different tone than ours. We're a little more family friendly. We like having a podcast that uh, parents play? could listen Stop to in the car running. around their kids. Is this you know? Some kind of test? It is, isn't it? That's the goal. Huh. Hey. Bank, bank. Um, let's uh, let's jump to the different. Hello, photo mode. Ooh, la -da -da. Um, Let's jump to um, fidelity for the visuals. Uh huh. Have you watched the Easy Allies E3 betting special yet? I actually I scrubbed through it a little bit. Oh crap. Hey, wait. Um, last night. Okay, so this is fidelity mode. Boy. Screams 30, doesn't it? I'm guessing if this was a 4K stream, you'd have a better idea of how much better it looks. There he is. People say 30 looks awful. I'll turn it back after the next checkpoint. Oh boy. I'll handle this phantom. You just get to safe. Let's see, can I get them over by these boxes, do you think? Is this even 30, they ask? It certainly feels rough, but, you know, going from 60 to 30 always is a jarring transition. Oh my god. Okay. These seem like... These seem like grenade-worthy folks. Thank you. It's a Switch 20 frames per second, people say. Super Nintendo! Thanks for gifting all those subs, buddy. Um, as always, the next Crate Smash is for you. Super Nintendo, this is for you, buddy! Thanks for the sub on Twitch! And you get out of here. Is this doctor handheld, somebody asked? That's funny. Hey. Don't laugh at me, I'm a little lombax. Now where'd you go? Okay, what do you think? Okay, after this, nice we the checkpoint. New guy. 
Thanks. Shh. What is this? Some kind of secret handshake? Hey! What am I doing? Hitmonchan says, hey, wait, who just posted something on MinMax Patreon? Oh, crap. Uh, that was me. Enemy can't catch. What does I can schedule posts. Ooh, cool. Okay, let's go back to 60, shall we? And performance ray tracing, please. You got it. Did the Insomniac devs make Ratchet and Rivet kiss? Um, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if they kiss each other. <laughs> that would be so weird. I, I bet they don't. I bet they don't. Uh, yeah, we just posted on Mimax's Patreon uh, the announcement of uh, The Deepest Dive on Final Fantasy VII Remake Intergrade. Okay. They're really... Really slowing you down there, so you get that hint. Don't be scared. Use the glove to run along those panels. Use the glove to run. Phantom dash. The animation is his ears is wonderful. That is true. I heard you know where to get one. This is still, yeah, their custom engine. I would imagine, right? Been using that forever. Originally, speaking of wall running, originally Titanfall was going to be in the Ratchet and Clank engine. Before they switched over to... God, what is Titanfall in? I forget. It was something, oh, it's Source! That's right. Huh, you quitting already? Sargasso. She always goes there after a mission. Sargasso. Yuffie's fun to play. Oh, man, don't tell me. Don't tell me that. I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, people are asking, how's the controller? Yeah, it's it's good. It's doing a lot. <laughs> I'm maybe not as hot on the DualSense as other people, uh, but it's going nuts. I like having the grenade on like the half to aim, then all the I'll way to, to pull it. Deal. You see that blimp? You Less for Chaos says, hold on, there's new Final Fantasy VII content and Ben is playing this? I know. I know, I'm sorry. It's the only place in the city you're gonna Fake ass gamer boy, you got me. What's so special about the blimp? Just find a way up to that rooftop. I gotta grab my gear. But, but I'll meet you up there. Rooftop? How do I get to that rooftop? I'm coming, Clank. Just hang on. Rooftop? How do I get to the rooftop? Nothing like total robot domination to brighten your day. Get out of here, buddy. How are y'all feeling about E3? Is that E3 hype train uh, leaving the station? Ooh. White Mech says, I saw the ending to the Yuffie DLC and that I will enjoy it. I hope so. I hope so, and I, it seems very dirgy, so I guess that means I'll enjoy going back to the dirty dirge, dirge of Cerberus. Less, like summer is finally here, so this is your hype, hype, hype. Doesn't like I E3. I will say, I'm very excited about E3. I'm excited for like Nintendo and Microsoft's press conference in particular. I think those are gonna be big. I'm kind of getting cold feet on Summer Game Fest. I think Summer Game Fest is not going to be even like the Game Awards level announcements. Um, but if you're watching this on YouTube, you probably know exactly what's announced, so we won't uh, go into it too much because you'll probably be like, oh, how wrong you were. Summer Game Fest was the greatest kickoff to E3 of all time. My dog hates me. Thanks for the big sub on Twitch. For those of you watching on YouTube, you can go to twitch.tv slash minmax show. We'd appreciate the sub or just the follow. Anything like that. If you have Amazon Prime, you have a free sub to throw our way every single month. And uh, it, uh, it's a very great, easy way to help support Minmax here. So we appreciate it. Hi. Can I not buy things from her? There we go. Upgrade tab. Try not to carouse. Totes my goats. Thanks for the sub on Twitch. Appreciate it, buddy. Next. Crate smash is in your honor. Tutorializer. 
Okay. Okay, we got a little... Got a little tree here. Press and hold X. <laughs> you are getting it! Yeah, I, I'll take accuracy. No doubt is not hard, as long as you've got the rare titanium. Okay, so I have 21. Purchase all upgrades connected to the gold cell now. Okay. Max ammo, max ammo. And max ammo. That's a lot of max ammo. Oh, we got a hype train! E3 hype train! Uh, okay. That's it. Upgrade one of your own weapons. I will, See? thank you. Why settle for a good oh, that's fun. weapon T when you can make it magnificent? I see their joke there. I just like the burst pistol, honestly. Crate ammo, yeah, I would like more of that. Can I not? Oh, I need to get this first. No? Oh. Wait, so I get the gold, but <laughs> we're upgrading around that? To keep your weapons in tip-top okay. shape. Let's see. Rapid fire shots more accurate. Increase rate of fire when in rapid fire mode. A lot of that. I like ammo. Let's go ahead and increase that rate of fire. Okay. Um. Jump to shatter bomb. Yeah. I'll take some area of effect. Oh, Super Nintendo. More subs. Thanks so much. Appreciate it, buddy. Shots fire. Through the air much faster. That's interesting. Shots go farther. Definitely. Increase ammo picked up from crates by one. Will do. Yeah, let's get that blast radius. Uh, shots go farther. I'm very interested in that one. And let's keep it rolling. And then last two for the burst, uh, burst pistol. Um, rep fire shots more accurate. Let's increase max ammo. Sweet. Scam train, says Asian Perk. My god. My god. There's a chain select option. Is that for buying a bunch at once? Hmm, yeah, maybe. Make sure to tell Thanks again for the help, Super Agent Zircon. Thank you, Zircon. You can get them all for one percent of your yearly salary. Alright, where are we going to? Can we go up this way? Sweet! Agent Crates, thanks for the big sub on Twitch. So Appreciate it. After all. Impressive. Wait, you can see me? Where are you? You got my starship ready? You'll get it, don't you worry. I just need you to help me with one last threat. The nefarious day spa. If you can distract these troopers, I'll hack the Rita's sipping a little morning coffee. A you'll never forget. Hello, Tanner Bomb. Looks easy enough. Can I go in? Nope, I can't go in. I am so proud to be a part of the first Oh man, just think of how capable I am now with this. Oh, I got that dodge, baby! Hydrate, people scream. Hydrate. <laughs> I, uh... I don't have my tea. And I don't have a sparkling water on me. But I'm drinking my spit real good, I promise. Spa rules. Jaw rules. Shoot. Need this. Need it, thank you. Big combat arena. Getting me used to all my powers. Which is probably switch to this baby. I will not be 
Boosh. Hello. Alright, maybe these guys are no joke. How far is that range now is what I want to know. <gasps> Good God. Alright, um, Shedder Bomb. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Please go back to hell. Really? All right, well. Whew. Let's see what we got over yonder. Oh, we got those crates over there. I'm just gonna work my way around this little pond. Let's see. Let's see if we can make our way over here. Nefarious Tower, here I come. Sweet. All right, Aaron J. Bear, thanks for gifting so many subs. Wow. Appreciate it, buddy. Did you learn how to <laughs> Looks like I touched a nerve. All right, deal's a deal. That's glitch. She'll help you get onto the Emperor's private shuttle to the tower. <laughs> How do I like the Access triggers? Rock Party ass. They seem all right. I like it for the grenade. I like having the halfway, full way pull. She'll handle the rest. Yeah. No? What are you doing? Tearing this whole rotten world down from the inside. Huh? <laughs> Stay strong, brother. Do it, do it, buddy. I wonder how much you're gonna be jumping through dimensions in the here. future. Let's do a little grinding. That'll work. I'm missing any crates in honor of people who sub on Twitch. Let's see, is that one over there? Looks like no. Yeah, this grind rail should lead back to the bazaar. I'm missing all these, however. The lighting is fantastic. Yeah, no doubt about it. No doubt about it. Here we go. All right. All I gotta do now, whoa, this is fast, is head to the statue, use Glitch, get a starship, and then find Clank on Sargasso. I'm on my way, buddy. Just hang in there for a little bit longer. Game looks beautiful. It is a gorgeous game. Just gorgeous. Hmm. Mm. A little bit of that. Aha! That has to be the access console. Where did you even come from? Bow to the Emperor's will! <laughs> okay. That was stupid. I should have waited. Should have waited. That was stupid. I shouldn't have gotten hit. Let's see what we got here. I will crush you for your defiance. I love a good shatter bomb hit. Oh, I have more. Oh. No! I was just getting used to that boss fight. Oh my god. This is cool. Oh, the boss fight continues here? That's great. That's really fun. Bop, bop, bop. Da, booby. Don't do it, buddy. God, that comes fast, doesn't it? Yeah, at least it was a round trip. Come on. I 
Oh, so that's the difference. Okay, so it's half trigger, then full trigger for rapid fire for the for this gun here. That's stupid that it took me that long to realize it. Oh my god. Do we got some uh We got some crates? Good god. Num 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 gimme. To hell with thee! Thank you. There. Thank you for now the Ritania. I can finally plug glitch into this access console. What if Ratchet and Clank was first person? First person platformers is a very tricky genre. So I don't think I like that very much. Yeah, hi. You must be Glitch. I'm Ratchet. Sorry for all the jostling around earlier. Things aren't exactly going well, and... Actually... I think you're the only one who can help me right now. Thanks. All right. Seems like a nice guy. I probably just have to delete some files, and then he'll be all set. Cute. What a cute robot, y'all. Many games, many games, many games. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Panicking spider robot. Ben, do you think you'll stick with this all the way through? Um, I I think I'll beat this game, yeah. I'm gonna be obviously pretty distracted with them. Um, Intergrades intermission chapter for the deepest dive. The best most sort of discussion about UP's DLC on the internet. Thanks for checking out the deepest dive, everybody. Um, but uh, yeah, I think uh, this is gonna be just a really nice game to have on the PS5 whenever I'm not playing Final Fantasy VII. Which might be like, I don't know, an hour or two. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I really, um, I didn't, I didn't play a lot of Ratchet back in the day, but my friends did, um, so I always liked it, but uh, it wasn't until Ratchet and Clank 2016 that I actually played all the way through it, and I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I heard it's, I heard 15 hours to finish, isn't that what they said on the bombcast? Uh, Nintendo Doofus, thanks for being here, Nintendo Doofus, co-host of Crossfade, producer for Crossfade. Or music podcast, dueling album review podcast. And the controller is doing some wacky stuff. It's we we're just rumbling a lot, basically, Jason. Jason, who's the next guest for uh, Crossfade, our music podcast? Ray Luaza, do you think this will hit the top five game of the year list? I think this is going to be a number seven, I will guess, for Min Max's two tens. And a surveillance state uh, just covering ran out the entire out of the blue city. Guess. If only that plastic dimensionator still worked. Oh, Mrs. Hansen, says Jason for the next crossfade right. guest. Interesting. Huh? It's a really good design for a robot. Plain Chain says there's not a lot of Game of the Year choices so far this year. It's sort of a sad year for next-gen games. I mean, next-gen, yeah, but I still think there's been some amazing games this year. I really like Oliha, O-L-I-J-A. That's one of my favorites. Um, Valheim's probably still my number one. I want to finish Resident Evil Village. Very cute. Not Ouya. Oliha is the name of that game I like. Do you allow pre release games for Game of the Year? Yes, we do. Yes, we do. If you can buy it and play it, it's in the running for Min Max's 210s. So then this Dimensionator was stolen by Dr. Nefarious, who used it to bring you here? 
Now you just have to find your friend who is also miraculously a lombax to save the day. And oh, Jennifer Hale. Home. What delight. <laughs> you must seriously think I'm an idiot. Look, as real as I'm sure this Dr. I like Returnal. I wasn't is, red hot on Returnal. Has the Emperor Antico. All over it. But that's a game that I should play more of as well. Hey, Tim Turry was yelling at me yeah, to play more of it. Mort? What's going on? Oh dear. Race for impact! Oh. Look it's out. just a higher pitch shepherd. What do you think I'm doing? Go! What is with PlayStation and big turtles? It's God of War. Horizon Forbidden West is a big turtle. Now here's the big turtle in Ratchet and Clank. It loved them some turtles. Official PlayStation mascot, giant turtles. Me? I was gonna take you to my hut. It's so weird. Yeah, so they share first, weapons. Isn't that a weird idea? Gelatonium factory. We're going this way, obviously, everybody. Find a way to reach the morts. Please help Mort, please. Can do. You got it. Majora's Mask, everybody's screaming in the world of big turtles. Yeah, I'm interested in that. If anybody's looking to make a video essay, the history of big turtles in video games is something I'm very interested in. Too interested in is the best way I'd describe it. Look at this. This is a pretty big world. All right, we're going the wrong way, but let's keep going. And over here, and over here. Pretty sweet. Ooh, that sun. Ooh, baby. Haven't been out this far in a while. Got a lot of swamp acid between here and the Mort's Gelatonium factory. Those beetles appear to have no issue with the acidic swamp water. Beetles? Yeah. That's why I'm gonna ride one. Soon as I can get close. Oh, that's why this level's so big. Cause it's the. This wasn't what was in my account last time. Oh, that is because I added our. Mutual friend on Nefarious City. Okay. Max Spoilers on Returnal was great, says T. Brooks. Thanks. That's on our YouTube channel and the Patreon exclusive podcast feed as well. Uh, Jacob Geller, YouTube essay video extraordinaire, is on the one along with Grant, Star of Hitman 3. And who hosted it? Kyle hosted it. That's right. Topiary Sprinklers just came in. Top what are you all about? Topiary sprinklers. That's great. I mean, how can you not? How can you not buy that? I mean, what are we doing here? We're 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 good. Um. Oh crap! Did I just buy the wrong thing? No. Okay. Just move down. Okay. <laughs> that was terrifying. Uh, refill health and ammo. I think I'm okay there, Mr. Fungi. Right. Attacking me so hard you might forget. Oh, All right. Sure. Let's try that. These seem fun. You will be missed, sweet thing. Mr. Fungi, can I use it on you? No. I want to find an enemy that I can actually use it on. Are these freaks? Yeah. So it just turns them into a little buddy. That's fun. I love it. All right, let's see what Sprinkler does. All right, easy. Get him! This is so great. Excellent. Excellent fun, Ratchet and Clank. Thanks, Kevlor, for the big sub on Twitch. Appreciate it. I just want to keep shooting these. That's so good. What a weird... Hey, what a weird weapon, you guys. You know, it's something you have, like, I don't know, how do you show up to PlayStation 5? Uh, topiaries? The fact that it's a sprinkler is such a weird choice. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back in business here. Hey, friends. Hey, friends. All right, where are those little crawly buddies? There it is. Okay, she shoots the guns the same way as everybody else. 
Oh, for people wondering about the dual sense, the left trigger, like the little look down the sights thing, is pretty hard to push down. Or it's got more resistance than you'd think. Speaking of resistance, how about that Insomniac, huh? It is crazy that they had Miles Morales at the launch and now this game so close. I know there's the North Carolina studio that worked on it, but still crazy. Crazy output from that team. Okay. Speedle me, please. It appears some dimensional distortion is emanating from that cave. Hey, friends. See, I should be, um... Can I? Okay, yeah. That's nice. I can just rapid fire through different weapons. So of using the weapon wheel all the time. Hello. And last speedle runs into that rift thingy. Interesting. You must have a rift tether in your glove too. Alright, smarty bot. What is this place? I um a dimensional pocket? Perhaps a symptom of the Dimensionator's destruction. How do you come up with this stuff? Hey, it's Maynard! The Mortz's helper bot! Must have wandered in through the rift somehow. There is the Speedle. Gotta get that Speedle. Oh, look at those boxes just waiting for me over there. I'm sorry, oh, crates. Boxes are, are crash. Oh. Hitting its nest might get its attention. Hey. I hurt your babies. Let me ride ya. Oh dear. All right, we're going the distance, baby. Is there a timer on this thing? Hope not, because we're gonna ride this all day. Oh, maybe not. Maybe not. Just for that little bit. Hmm. Oh. Armor. That's interesting. Make more by completing pocket dimensions, exploring planets, or completing... Okay, so you have the option of just making a visual if you want. I don't know if I want to cover up Rivet's cool face. But how can you not? All right. Cool. Give me that, baby. All right, here we go. Uh, ben, are you excited to see the Easy Allies back in the studio? Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be fun for these reactions. I wish we could all be in the same spot. But um, I actually just ordered the rest of the equipment we need to finish off our studio um, yesterday. So I'll be working on it probably next week once the E3 stuff wraps up. Um, but yeah, super excited to see Easy Allies do that. They have their cute puppet show too. Very cool. Come on, Maynard. Let's find the Morts. Let's find the Morts. Okay. Look out. No, Mort. See? Sometimes I don't crash. Which way am I going? Which way am I going? Alright, continue to follow you. So Speedles can't jump. There's the gelatonium. White Speedles can't jump is the important lesson here. We didn't follow that Lombax and his robopet across dimensions just to get stopped by some fuzzballs. So you got like nine and a half seconds to tell us where they're at. One. <laughs> Hang on there now. Oh, in cutscenes, my gear disappears? That's interesting. What the hell is that? See? They are looking for Ratchet. I am telling the truth. Whatever, Bolts. I'm going to save my friends. Hey, I know where you can find a Lombax. Another Lombax? Oh, some other sort of other long bags. Go back, go back. Oh, I should have used that explosive thing again. I wonder, can these guys get uh, topiary? Where are these doofuses coming from? 
Yes, they can. Can they get fungi? Perhaps they were sucked through the dimensional vortex as well. Get him, little mushroom buddy. All right. I'll take it. More combat arena stuff. You know the drill. You've played a game, everybody watching. Everybody watching has played a game, right? My children! Alright. I like that little finger guns from the mushroom guy. Finger guns for the mushroom guy. In the pipe, five by five. John Skovic says, what is this, some sort of movie? That's right, John Skovic, it's a movie you control. Lord. Good, you're okay. Us? Oh, when we heard those fellas were after a Lombax, we were worried about you. Well, next thing we know, you're here, saving our behind. Ellen DeGeneres Wait, did the voice. Where are the others? Well, oh, some of the morts are stuck inside of that mess there. Not a clue what it is. All I know is it keeps getting bigger. Oh, between that and our new neighbor up there, we are not doing too fine. <sighs> Don't worry, I'll take care of it. Redward oh, asks, his creatures are from Minnesota. I guess I should have reacted more to that. Got this huh? at Zerkies. Mort yeah, can no, finally sure. fix that ship she's It's not really Minnesota. On. It's a... Zerkies? Oh, those They're from the Fargo Cinematic today. Universe. Eh, only a little. Not my Minnesota. You can give this to Mort yourself once you get her from that purple mess over there. Yeah, in retrospect, why did I say Ellen DeGeneres? <laughs> Just sounds like a stupid, silly character, and I associate that with Ellen DeGeneres for some reason. The greatest character of all, Ellen DeGeneres, as she plays herself on the talk show. Oh, okay. Aaron J. Bear says, I don't mean to be a stinker, but does it actually feel like this can only be done in the PlayStation 5? I mean, the warping between different environments, yes, but there could have been a version of this on PS4, but, you know, it obviously looks better. I won't, I won't complain. I won't complain none at all. Here we go. Oh, I don't like that disappearing helmet. Okay. Do not enter. Got it. May I take a look? I have some experience with dimensional anomalies. I... Sure. Hmm. Ah. Ah. Freaky. Yeah. Greetings. Welcome. How did you get in here? Where exactly is, um, here? Oh, you don't know? Well, I don't either. It appears to be a space between dimensions. Could be nothing. Could be a cascading entropic fissure that will I've soon turn soul. the entire universe into a formless soup. Time will tell. Oh. Oh, dear. Well, I am Clank. Please allow me to help. Right, yes, Clank. I am the all-seeing cosmic prophet of interdimensional sector 2255 phase Omega. But you can call me Gary. Here we are, Clank. Former warbot, uh, teamed up with the Lombax, became a hero. Ooh, good for you. Ooh, ooh, friend of my father. I see. Your father? You might just be the one I've been waiting for. Would you like to help me fix the dimensions? Is this some puzzle stuff? You know how to fix the dimensions? And why are there copies of me running around? Last there are your Jedi? possibilities. The key to repairing this alarm. Hey, but first, pick up that nearby sphere. This is a lift sphere. It can reduce the gravity on any object it touches. It seems your possibilities are what keeps an anomaly from collapsing. They look like you because that's how you interpret dimensionality. But as you can see, they've lost their way. If you can guide them to the meta terminal ahead, you will begin to repair this anomaly. The hell? Okay, so just direct the lines. Hey! Oh, that's good. Now, that's good that that happened. Enter the meta terminal, and you'll be one step closer to fixing this dimensional anomaly. Okay, that's interesting. 
That'll be a that'll be a big thing to see evolve throughout the game. Oh wait. I feel like things are slowly starting to make sense. This is interesting. Speaking. What are oh, you? A speed sphere. That'll get you moving. Okay. Hmm. I bet some extra speed could make quick work of that barrier. Do you live on Sargasso too, Gary? Savali, actually. I've been studying in the archives. It's the greatest repository of dimensional knowledge so. I've ever seen. Come on, team. We all knew that wouldn't work. It's lemmings, says Red War. It is lemmings. How do I divert them? Do I need to just throw two of these? Maybe. Can I do this? Oh, okay. This feels lighter than air. Sure. Okay, so then we do. We do lift spear at the second location. And we do speed spear here. Wait, where's the speed spear now? Can I pick it up? Okay. Right? Does this seem right, internet? Okay, and then we do as the clinkies do. All right. That device may be able to read. Hey, Sif Moonweaver. Thanks for being here. There must be a way to activate it. Oh boy, now we're getting into shifting directions. Okay. All right. This is doable. Standing. You seem to be a natural at this play. I am cautiously optimistic. Yeah, Breadward, I was also expecting the speed sphere to be more speedy, but who am I to judge? Who am I to judge somebody else's speed? Oh my god. I feel myself learning something by completing these puzzles, but I cannot explain what it is. The words will come to you when you are it's a lift sphere. Now, lead your possibilities to the final meta terminal. Okay. And not to stress you out, so I can affect them this. or I can affect like, the environment. A lot, a lot. If I fix this anomaly, will that fix all the damage that has <gasps> been done in this dimension? Okay, hang on. Oh, no. Anomalies are spreading too quickly what happened? to do that. Hey, I'm what happened? The dimensional cataclysm is coming, and our only hope to stop it is that which caused Boy, I'm dumb. The okay. Indeed. But if repairing anomalies is helping you learn about dimensionality, I think you'll soon be able to learn enough to save us all. Can I? I wonder if I will be able to solve hmm. all of this in the end. What makes you What if you that? lifted this it one? Been a long time well, I'd like to. I have been a hero. And with everything that happened with the dimensionator, I am concerned. Times of great stress, which seems Did I miss something? How can I recall my um found it best to take things one step at a time? Focus on what's in front of you. Can I recall my uh ball that I've thrown? You can recall the sphere. I'm sorry I missed that. How do I recall the sphere? Just aim at the red thing, right? Okay. There we go. Thank you. Okay, so can I grab this from the other side? Apparently. Okay, interesting. All right, now you stay up. And let's get the speed. Let's change that. Okay, so do I have to be standing on this or does it lock? I hope I'm not interrupting process but okay. I think there are more spheres left to find. Okay, so then let's do this for me. Oh, good god. How should I get over there then? Oh, I know how to get over there. Okay, so keep speed there and then I'll take the lift. Thank you. And then let's put this over here. Right? Okay, so let's try going over there first. Alright! Zero G on demand. Pretty good. Zero G. Zero G. 
Okay. But the question is, okay, so zero G on demand, they say. So stand over there and then it's a matter of speed and lift. So it seems like I have like one extra, don't I? Oh no, I don't have one extra because of this. Of course, okay. Taking it to the streets. Da 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 da. Taking these puzzles to the streets. Da 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 da. Oh crap. Uh, do you think we'll see the Switch Pro before Nintendo's Direct on Tuesday? Um, boy, it certainly seemed like that's what I, all the people in the know were screaming about. Um, so I would imagine, but who knows when they're saving that for? If anybody knows, please let me know. Okay, this way, friends. No, 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 no. One at a time. Do the cool thing. I wonder if some extra All right. speed could help my posse. That's it, Clank. You prepared the anomaly. And now we're one step closer to stopping the dimensional cataclysm. Now let's go, buddy. Oh, bye. <laughs> I like that hand animation. Thank you, Gary. See you in hell. So then I says, listen, Mort. You, Mort, and Mort better hide that lemonade before Mort shows up. Whoa. Hmm. You saved them. How did you do that? I am uncertain. Rivet. How the heck are you? Look who it I mean, is. It's a choice. It's a choice to go for Minnesota. I mean, I'm deeply offended, but it's a choice. My trip to Nefarious City went totally sideways. I wrecked my ship, and I... You go on and leave that one to old Mort. Well, assuming you brought that part I asked for, hmm? I'll have this old thing in ship shape. Yeah, that helmet's got to go. I hate that thing popping in and out. That really sucks. What are we going to do there? You'll find out soon enough. Muffled voice. Wait. Wait, wait. Okay, wait. Okay, wait. Uh, melee damage increased, but I get it no matter what, which is very smart. All right, team. I think I'm going to call it quits here. Uh, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for following us at twitch.tv slash minmaxshow. Get ready for a whole bunch of E3 coverage. I need to get ready for it myself. Do a little prep work for the podcast today. Um, if you support us any tier on Patreon, you can submit comments and questions for us to answer on the podcast. That post will be going up very soon for everybody. Um, what is this? The Min Ma podcast? That's right. Um, and again, if you want to help support indie games media, even at that $2 tier on Patreon at patreon.com slash minmax with two ends, you can jump over there, support us at $2 just for one month, and then you can compete in Trivia Tower for the grand round! The grand round! And you can win $1,000. We'll send you $1,000 if you win video game trivia, and that's happening on June 20th. And stay tuned to MinMax's YouTube channel for a bunch of fun reactions for uh, all E3 news and bonus episodes of the MinMax Show podcast, all that fun stuff, Looking which you can also su subscribe to uh, for free in your favorite podcast app. Are those the big beats? I think that's all we've got. Cool. Thanks so much, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye. Content like this exists because of you. Thank you so much for subscribing on YouTube, sharing it with a friend, and especially for supporting MinMax on Patreon. Supporters at any tier on Patreon unlock access to MinMax's Discord, the friendliest place on the internet, where you can compete in game trivia every month to win prizes with our show Trivia Tower. Thanks so much for watching and sharing our stuff, everybody.